so in the 2020 code, we added a definition for habitable room, which is something that we really needed to do. We use that term habitable room in 210.70, which tells you where you need to have lighting outlets. And we also use it in 404.2C, which tells you where you need to have a neutral conductor at switch locations. So what's a habitable room? Well, probably not what you might think it is. A habitable room is a room in a building for living, sleeping, eating, or cooking. Okay, so let's stop right there. Living, sleeping, eating, and cooking. Certainly your, uh, your house, your dwelling unit has habitable rooms. That's pretty obvious, living, sleeping, eating, and cooking. Uh, when it comes to other than dwelling units though, like a commercial building, you know, a lot of commercial buildings do not have habitable rooms, right? There is no space for living, sleeping, eating, or cooking. Think of, uh, think of the shop where you work if you're an electrician or, a, or an engineer. Does your building actually have any habitable rooms? Do you have space for living or sleeping or eating or cooking? A lot of places don't. So right off the bat, this is kind of a, a dwelling unit thing in a lot of instances. Now here in the picture, we have a big commercial, uh, um, commercial kitchen. Certainly not the first thing that I think of when I think of habitable room, but that is a habitable room. That is a room for cooking, obviously. So a habitable room uh, often gets confused with a term that we use in the building code called occupiable space, and they're, they're two different animals. So habitable room is for living, sleeping, cooking, or eating. It does not include bathrooms, toilet rooms, closets, hallways, storage or equipment rooms, and similar locations. So there you go habitable room. Be sure to like, follow, subscribe, and ring the bell.